If money is a stored energy, it's a mental concept. It's a mental concept that should help people to release it mentally. Because otherwise, it's just the same way as we speak about oil as a stored energy. So you don't have to do anything about it. It's just there. It's a natural resource. And we have converted some of our activities into the connotation of money just for the ease of exchange. So make our life easier to not to bring your fish and butter with you all the time. Therefore, the concept of money being somewhat accumulative resource for perceived happiness or the level of your achievement is a delusion that people suffer from. And therefore, by labeling it as nothing more than a stored energy that you can convert every time to anything else is kind of liberating to some degree. Or it might liberate, at least that should be one of the entry points of liberation from money being addictive. Because it's if you look at it as the energy that you, that kind of, on the one hand, it measures your performance, depending on what you do. And then it also projects of your opportunities to convert that stored energy into some experiences like traveling or buying new stuff. Therefore, this is about shift the mental model. And why I'm speaking about that is because I'm speaking about transformation being simple to the people and now I will come back to them. <laughs> uh, you've seen this before. <laughs> so this money is everything. This money, like here money is needs to be accumulated. Here money don't need to be accumulated, needs to be flown. And then when you tr trans make the transformation from one thought to another, then you kind of liberate your addiction to this specific uh, understanding. I would refer to money put into the same category of accessible energies. It's the, it's the same as we access the sunlight, we access the natural resources, we access ourselves, our bodily energies, and then we convert some food into being more, uh, like uh, more uh, in a state of converting more energies. And Another great perspective that could help startup companies or people building up their businesses is if the mental model towards the money is that you are rerouting this energy, like you are rerouting your inner energy, your, your food created or supported, then instead of being in the perspective of accumulating it for later use, it's the model that speaks that you are, there is a possibility you can get more, 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 and that kind of creates you an illusion, okay, then I'm kind of safe, so the fear-related thing. Instead of that, if you see that you, and as a person, you cannot accumulate, like you eat, and you need to eat to keep yourself going. So it means the algorithm, how your body is, for example, having different um, nutrition from different food. So there's an algorithm which splits them <laughs> into the proteins and uses them. The same way we mentally can have algorithm that seeks for accessible energy, in this case money, and then stream it through our algorithms into the output. And if that's the way how people start to see money, that's, a, that's not a thinking of accumulator. That's a, a thinking of a transformer. So you're transforming accessible energy of, in the form of money, streaming through your algorithm. And if you improve your algorithms, you can create more out of the same accessible energy. So that's the paradigm shift that I'm communicating. And I think this is the way how people can be liberated from the suffering of having money, not having money. If you see it as a sunlight, if you see it as other natural resources or the food in the same category, and then delusion is destroyed. <laughs> the same as with vision, and the same as with hearing, we have the spectrum. And if our spectrum of seeing money is very narrow and we see it only as a thing to accumulate <laughs> and uh, the happiness is related to that, then you don't see the opportunities it to be anything else. But once you start to widen up and say, well, it can be, of course, accumulated if you want, but then it's just a very low 
ratio for your productivity and for your result in your life, for your family. Then you start to widen up your perspective of what money can be. And once that you realize it's not only that you can do accumulation, you can also see it as a resource that you can transfer and you can use as an input for increasing the output. Then you start to think, I'm not an accumulator, I am a transformer and I need to get better at the algorithm of converting this source of energy and therefore that's the paradigm shift when people really give themselves <laughs> more more opportunity for uh, for creating for being creators and being creative in this transformation of energy and even more so we can go back to the inception of the concept of money. And this is what I do at the business school. The people who are studying management and business have no basic understanding what's the purpose of business. And then they're oh, making money. No, it's creating value. <laughs> and then even if I don't give the answer and, and then they say money, I say, what is money? And then the silence is in the room. And then I go, money is an exchange instrument for the convenience. <laughs> Therefore, if we come back to the roots and we honestly answer, give the answer, so the origin of money, emergence of the money is the resource. So it's how we convert our time, our hands, our craft into the product. And the money is just a tiny kind of step, which is a converter. So therefore, even that says, it's nothing about accumulation. It's just the means or the ways of transforming your natural state of activity into sort of energy that you can also transform to something else and then you can really look and put it into the perspective let's take a very basic thing so there is a person start wanting to start a business instead of thinking how can i start to accumulate money from somewhere then to create and build something again as the kind of ownership kind of thing i will own this business and i will have the shares and then that will produce again something instead of that mindset there is a mindset saying money is just abundant which is true it's accessible and the only question that makes you more successful in accessing it is your algorithm how you will transform it, how you will use it, and how you, your conversion algorithm will be helping that stored energy to regenerate itself by creating more value for yourself and for others. You are putting the energy in motion. It's the same as we put the oil into the cars or we put the electricity in the cars, which would be even better. <laughs> this is how we take the energy, put it through the algorithm, and produce a valuable outcome. That's how it works.